And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's start this evening with the first part of the FIA Championship takeoff, the undercard. So welcome for the blue corner, the fighter from Romania, Christian Nakshu. And his opponent for the red corner, the fighter from Moldova, Yelchen. of 22, height of 1.78 meters, weight 70 kilograms, debuted in the octagon. Fights uh, for respect, Jim Gayesh from Romania, Christian Nakshu. <laughs> and the second fight in the red corner, age of 24, height of 1.8 meters, weight 70 kilograms, four fights, two wins, two losses, fights for Garuda from Moldova, Yelche. Lightweight bout under 71 kilograms, three rounds, so three minutes each, extra one round, K1 rules, referee Vladimir Tsiverdi. You're fighting fear rules, no elbows, no clinching. Obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. Touch a glass if you want to, and back to your corners. Judge, 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 first round, fight! Okay, touch of gloves, ladies and gentlemen, and we are off to the races here. FIA Championship takeoff from Kishino, Moldova, in the futsal arena. On the left of your screen, that is Christian Nyekshu and Yugen Bats. One-two combination there from Bats. Tricky little low kick, trying to set his opponent off balance there. Hard low kicks. Overhand right lands. And this is what we were talking about at the top of the show, ladies and gentlemen, is using that cage. Things get a little bit interesting once you get your back up against the cage like that. You're flat up. It's not like working the ropes. You're up against the, uh, the fence there. It's a lot different. And referee laying the smack down on these two, letting them know that they cannot clinch. This is K1 kickboxing rules. Not Muay Thai. Hard shot there, as you could really hear the smack of the glove there on the flesh. Spinning back, well, was intended to be a back fist, but ended up being a back forearm, perhaps. Bats really trying to keep that distance there, but uh, he actually was really putting the pressure on. Got popped with a right hand down the middle that time. Well, I like how um, technical and how calm these two youngsters are. A lot of times when you see guys that are uh, young and inexperienced, they just want to go in there and just beat the living tar out of each other. But these two are being a little bit more cautious, and now I see some blood just trickling out of the nose there of Eugen Bats. Looking for a flying knee, but nobody home. And I think the referee is going to go ahead and have that nose cleaned up here. That thing gets popped open and it's bleeding a bit, not gushing, uh, but nevertheless does need some attention here. I guess one thing about the cage that's different about the ring is getting the, the doctor in there or at least the coach to Whoa, and he took the legs right out from underneath him, and that is a long way to fall. Looking for it again, he got him again now. Crowd coming alive here for the first time in Kishino for that. Well, a lot of times you'll see that when a guy gets uh, 
hurt or gets injured. You know, even if it's just a simple bloody nose, a lot of times they'll feel like, you know what, I, I've got to get something back here. Uh, and, and some of it is also just the fact that he's had a few seconds break. Uh, even, even if it's just like 5, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, sometimes that's enough to really uh, re regain yourself and come back with something strong. Look at that back kick there. Christian Niekshu and Eugen Bats tearing it up here in round number one at 71 kilos. As I said, I like how uh, calm these two are and how they seem to be sticking to their game plans. They're not going berserk and they're not out of control. Let's see what we get here in round two. This one's scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Whoa, straight right hand that time. Is, that is not ruled a knockdown, but that was a heck of a shot. Back kick a moment ago, a little bit off the target that time. Oh boy, big left hook that time from Nyakju. Back fist off the mark, he was turned around there and he may have snuck a knee in. Nice head movement there. He's able to throw a shot or two, and then he ducks his head low, and twice that worked. Still got some blood on the back there. How do you get... He, he just got turned around there and got his opponent's blood all over his back. Big right hand there. Really backed him up. Knee goes in now. Bats opening up with Niachu on the corner. There's the back kick. Oh, and a right hand finds the jaw. Another good right hook lands. Nyakshu in a little bit of trouble here. Seems to be getting overwhelmed. Bats gets another right hand in. Looked like he was hoping for a timeout there momentarily. Sorry, kid. No timeouts here in kickball. You want a timeout, you'll get an eight count. If you're lucky, they may stop the fight. Looks like he's a little bit stunned or a little bit flustered in there. He's may have got his bell rung a couple of times. Bot's getting in a lot of good work here in round number two. Ooh, there's a nice one. He actually stuck him there with a left hand and he's trying to change the momentum of this round here. There's another little tricky kick. It has been uh, a good strategy by Bats to kind of get his opponent off balance and disrupt him a little bit using those tricky low kicks. Got him pinned right up against the fence there. That was a great round for Eugen Bats. Uh, he actually started to come alive there towards the end of round number two. Look at that shot. Boy, I, I almost swore that was a knockdown when I saw that. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, still one more round of action. Round three coming up here. Second down. The lovely FIA girls doing what they do best. Third round, 
Here we go, touch of gloves, third and final round right now. FIA Championship takeoff from Kishino, Moldova in Futsal Arena. Flying knee that time, not sure how much he got. Whoa, and he hits the ground hard once again. Look at that, foot right upside the face now. Bats picking up where he left off from round two. Comes flying in, looking for the lower extremities again. Hard shot that time, backs him up into the cage. Back kick blocked that time, but he took it across the arm and the elbow. Whoa, look out, almost ran into a knee. These two really giving it all they've got inside the FIA cage right now. Hard low kicks there, a couple of them right on the outside of the thigh, just tags it three times in a row now. Oh boy. Back and forth they go. Ran into a shot there from Bats and again, chopping away at the outside of the left thigh of Christian Mieksha. Ooh, right hand, he caught him dreaming that time. Inside a minute now, about 50 seconds left in the fight. Ooh, a hard knee that time. That one was right in the kidney area, maybe at the base of the rib cage. You can see these two have slowed down tremendously since round number one, but they are still throwing shots here. And this is a part of the fight where it's very dangerous to get hit with a big shot because you're low on gas, you're running out of energy. You know it's your last shot to maybe make something happen. Oh boy, Bots just tagged him with a right that time. And another one. Backs him up into the cage there. 10 second hammer drops. And that's the way our opening contest ends at FIA Championship takeoff. Bats marching around the ring with his hand in the air, claiming victory. And Christian Nyekshu looking a little bit disappointed in himself. A lot of times the body language of the fighters will tell you a lot as far as who could possibly be victorious. As we go back and take a look at highlights from round number three, ladies and gentlemen. Both guys uh, in that round were looking tired, looking a little bit exhausted. Uh, and therefore, the, the damage that they were doing was intensified. Because sometimes I noticed that the guys are letting their guards down a little bit. And they were getting tagged. They were getting paid. They are making uh, their opponents pay for that. I think this could be a, a close fight. I don't think we have our ring announcer in the cage yet, so maybe there's still the liberal. Now he's in there. Okay, let's get the official word. Well, he's the winner, but how is he the winner? Unanimous? Split? We don't know. But ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back. 67 kilos is coming up next at Fiat Championship. Don't go anywhere.